Hey everybody, this is Bob from Chicago Archery. Uh, built myself a horizontal draw table to go along with my vertical draw table for different reasons. Uh, I just wanted to share it with everybody. If you're looking for information on some of the parts and kind of the build pictures, I will be putting them on the Chicago Archery Inc. Face page, Facebook page. Uh, there will be pictures on Instagram for Chicago Archery Bow Hunter. And uh, then there'll be this video also, if you're interested. I just do want a couple things. I know some people are out there playing during this time uh, in their backyards with their bows and checking timing and stuff like that. That's what a draw board is good for, checking their draw length and stuff. But as I built mine, being a tradesman myself, I made a couple little modifications to make it operational, more efficient. Uh, a couple things are um, that you use your boat wench. It's pretty easy. You can get all this stuff pretty at Home Depot. Uh, you got a boat wench, some two by six, a couple two by fours. Uh, I bought this scale off of Amazon, and uh, I got a turnbuckle. I used a three eighths turnbuckle, and I used a pipe and pipe flange of a 3 8 not the half inch that you see on everybody's site. A 3 8 fits the grips of the compound bows much better. Uh, I also have my draw length table out here. Uh, draw length is from the fulcrum, and it's 1 and 5 8 to the front is where your draw length starts. Uh, you get a really accurate measurement that way. Simple things are when you put your clip on, your D-loop, Make sure you guys always have a safety. Safety for just in case your D-loop breaks, you have another one there. And that when you buy a boat winch that it has the locking end that it locks on return as well as um, drawing. My scale right here that I'm using, I've never used a scale before, I tried it out. And uh, it does peak, but it doesn't hold the peak measurement. So I'll be looking into a new scale. Real quick, you can check your timing with this. You can check also your timing on your um, limb driver rest. A lot of people are going with that new ripcord lock uh, limb driving rest, and it's a fantastic rest. So you can actually adjust if a uh, good bow tech can adjust the timing for how long you want that to stay up. Great rest. Um, if you're interested more on it, I have them in stock here at Chicago Archery. Been doing a lot of tuning and a lot of strings and cables lately, guys. Um, if you want to get yours done, you know you, our drop-off hours are Tuesday to Thursday, 4 to 8, Friday 3 to 7, and Saturday and Sunday 12 to 4. Um, come on in, drop your bows off, get your strings and cables ordered before the rush happens right after we get done with this. The other thing I want to mention is, is you'll notice that my post for my grip goes is off center from where my wench is because the wench pulls in the center. Your grip is off center from where your D loop is. So you want to stagger those so the bow doesn't do a bunch of kicking around when you draw it. You see, I don't even have to hold it. Now I have this one set already. And one more click. And I'm on my draw stops, perfectly timed. Um, if I had to do a minor adjustment, that's what this turnbuckle's for. You want to set it somewhat towards the middle. All right? Uh, peak weight. And then when you go to lock down, you get to that lock. So where it locks down, so if it gets away from you, okay? There you go. Simple, easy, easy project. A lot of you guys out there are tradesmen. I know I have a lot of tradesmen. And if you wear a hard hat, come in, get a sticker from me. I have hard hat stickers that are union made by another union electrician that owns a printing company. So come on in to Chicago Archery and during the hours, get your drop offs and pickups for uh, your bows getting tuned up and set up and whatever else you need. Uh, if you're gonna order some parts, I'm doing ordering every week. So I know the manufacturers that are open. Come in and see us at Chicago Archery. Wash your hands. Take care.